And to Poland now, where a new documentary uh, allegedly exposing child sexual abuse by members of the Roman Catholic Church is forcing the country's bishops to meet in Warsaw today. Uh, the film was released over the weekend. It's called Tell No One, and it reportedly shows how abusive priests ruined the lives of victims and faced no consequences. The Catholic Church's influence over education, over culture uh, and lawmaking in Poland means the scandal is quickly becoming a political issue ahead of this week's EU elections. A state committee on paedophilia is to be set up according uh, to the Polish uh, Prime Minister Maciek Mor Morawiecki. Uh, well, let's uh, get some more on this from uh, Warsaw with uh, Marcin Zabrowski, a senior associate and political analyst at Visegrad uh, Insight. Good morning to you, Mr. Zabrowski. Thanks for joining us this morning. Good morning. Uh, now, this was a, sh a shocking uh, documentary, but do you think Polish viewers will have been surprised by the fact that the Catholic sex abuse scandal has reached them? Or do you think this was something that was known about within Polish society? Well, there were obviously stories going around, uh, and there were some cases, documented cases, of child abuse uh, with the um, Catholic priests being perpetrators. However, what the documentary has very clearly um, exposed is not just the individual cases of child abuse and how they were ruining, ruining people's lives, but also a very systemic cover-up cover up by the entire Catholic hierarchy, by you know, basically the top uh, top level of the Catholic uh, Catholic Church being covering up uh, and, the and case. Not only, and and mm -hmm. not only the Catholic Church, but also potentially the ruling law and Justice Party. Just how implicated is is the government in this? How close are those ties between the two institutions? Well, they are very close. I mean, only a week before the film was released. Uh, before the documentary was released, the, uh, uh, the prime, not the prime minister, but the leader of the Law and Justice Party, uh, Mr. Kaczynski, uh, spoke very famously at the rally that a hand raised against the uh, Catholic Church is, in effect, a hand raised against Poland, and we will defend Catholic Church. Uh, also, during the entire campaign to the European elections, Law and Justice has really stressed the issue of the defense of traditional values, traditional family, uh, it has spoken against LGBT rights and in defense of church. So it's very difficult for law and justice to distance it, itself from the church right now. Let's talk about those EU uh, elections, because this video has been viewed ten, more than 10 million times in just two days. Do you think it's going to damage uh, the Law and Justice Party going into the, to the elections this week? Yes, I think it will damage law and justice. Uh, I, as I said, I mean, I think it's very difficult for um, law and justice to find some kind of a new narrative in which it, it will distance itself. Uh, they are trying. They said that they will um, uh, ramp up the punishment against child abusers. They are also saying that uh, the, uh, the the problem with the child abuse is really. Um, it is really caused by the legacy of communism, because the, the priests who were child abusers who are shown on the documentary are, um, were also uh, communist police uh, secret, uh, secret informers. Uh, so uh, they are trying to regain the control of the narrative, but I think it's very difficult for them. So I think it will affect the uh, um, you know, voting score. During the, uh, for the European elections and later on in autumn for the national elections too.